Born in San Francisco in the 1980s, Burning Man is a week-long annual event where over 50,000 people gather in Nevada's Black Rock Desert to create Black Rock City. It is devoted to a sense of community, art, self-reliance, and self-expression. After the week, all traces of the city are removed. In Black Rock City, the law enforcement agencies are the Bureau of Land Management and Pershing County Sheriff. Officers are generally not encouraged to po try that, foster positive relationships in the community. When I asked officers why they were there, they said, A, overtime pay, B, make drug busts, and C, to see the naked people. <laughs> officers daily came to our camp to ensure that we were still alive. This caused consternation to our neighbors. This young woman came into camp one day and quite vocally shouted, I just dropped some acid and I gotta know if you're narcs. Well, we explained we weren't narcs and after that we were known as Camp Narc Old Guys. <laughs> Seeing the disconnect between law enforcement and the community, I'd encourage officers to be friendly in our neighborhood. Eventually officers would pose in group photos. Here we have a BLM officer with his new taser, a very handsome Berkeley graduate, and four Bs from Germany, England, and the Netherlands. This is the man, epicenter of Black Rock City. What a cop sees here is a huge structure, haphazardly made of two by fours, probably about to collapse on a large group of burners, half of whom are naked. Well, I was only partially correct. The structure was carefully built. It didn't collapse, but people were naked. Here, I'm riding on my bicycle. I'm minding my own business. And what do I see approaching me? That. I mulled, how would I notify dispatch in my former city if I came across this guy? And I'd go, I don't know what I'd go. Now, is this a home or is this a vehicle? Well, it's both. This beauty is one of a kind, has low mileage, sleeps 10, and drives the playa with its human payload. This is but one of hundreds of what are called mutant vehicles that serve mechanized transportation and eye candy crossing the playa day and night. Fish once swam this ancient lake bed, but never of such size and character as this. Another mutant vehicle, all of which undergo rigorous inspection and approval by the Department of Mutant Vehicles. <laughs> the temple, the spiritual center of the city. As a cop, I appreciated the architecture, but wondered what silliness abounded inside. Frankly, what I discovered is that the temple has a living spirit born, born of the frailty, loss, love, and triumph that is our existence. Not ashamed to say, I cried many times in there. <laughs> I didn't cry here. <laughs> this is the standard daily wear in the city. Creativity, fun, sensuality, and humor are seen in clothing styles. As a former sexual assault unit manager, frankly, I was nervous about how women would be treated. I was relieved to see a community consciousness that allowed people to have a very open time. Okay, performance art is important at Burning Man. So here I am taking a lesson from a burner about a game called Fishing for Hippies. Late at night, one attaches a glow stick to the end of the fishing rod, you cast it out, and you wait to see who's going to pick it up, and you pull it out of their hands. Sculptured beauty makes for magic at Black Rock City. There's a palpable sense of excitement as neon fires, booming music, and hundreds of people howling like coyotes each contribute to a day-night transition. To serve and protect. <laughs> what better way to protect than wrap yourself in yards of bubble wrap? An all-season, all-weather style that fit well in any evening venue. I found that no woman could resist violating my personal space and popping my bubbles. <laughs> that is not a metaphor. <laughs> Nighttime euphoria, wild lights, the ebb and flow of tens of thousands of revelers crammed together on the desert. A recipe for disaster from my perspective as a police officer, yet somehow it all came together despite the virtual intoxication of everybody there. Very few acts of real world misbehavior occurred. This is the potentate of Kuwait with his security team strolling the promenade. They had such verve and conviction that they had hundreds of people believing that he actually was a potentate. 
Hundreds of photo flashes popped. We became the focal point in dance clubs and raves, all while we were talking into our imaginary wrist radios. <laughs> Sunrise on the playa. The music had stopped. Excitement of a night of explosive energies was placed by the exhaustion found in the morning. Bodies and bicycles litter the desert. Somehow, none are run over by mutant vehicles, sleepy cops, or aliens dressed as humans. In Black, Black Rock City, unlike Oakland, there were no police demonstrator battles, just symbolic gestures of defiance. This temporary building of capitalism ultimately burned in glorious flame, giving rise to dancing and fat overtime checks for smiling cops. I found that very ironic. Saturday night. 50,000 of my new best friends gathered to see the new man, see the man burn. As a cop, I too love seeing huge fires when firefighters don't have to be awoke from their sleep. This is a night of party. The surprise again is that with so many people and so many things occurring, that everybody peacefully coexists. This is the man and the temple side by side. The burning temple is the last official act in the play. It is a deeply reverential and moving tribute to civility. Tens of thousands of those same persons who wildly celebrated the night previously now sit in silent prayer. <laughs> My journey has changed me. I am less suspicious of others, more prone to accept differences, less likely to desire conformity. My, my belief in self-policing is reaffirmed. And thanks to my friends at Think Tank Architecture, the man for 2003 has been developed. Thank you.